can't let terrible, terrible. It was terrible. You hold something you have no right Stay away from that stuff, Cora. Trust My me. People have it's the worst. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. That's not any type of ship I recognize. You say that now, but your kind is not ready for the artifacts. The Starborn know what you are, what you are capable of. Ridiculous. You have no right to judge humankind as a group. We're individuals, and we're guided by our own unique morality. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. We are growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. Speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! Chat. When you're not appreciated, let's chat. Ready. I have things for you. We're here. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? No. Okay, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret mil... Teletech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. 
like we were children, playing with your parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up. Uh, another house for a row. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors, the gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. That ship could be anywhere in deep space. Even if we got lucky, a single grav jump and we'd lose them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. I may regret this, but there's something I'd like to ask you about. I'm always. But we need to be as really a lot of pressure on this, isn't there? Possible negative effect. This right. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. You got something for me? Bye-bye. I have something for you.
new set of stars. Civilian transport to unknown vessel. Please acknowledge. This is a commercial passenger transport liner wanting to alert you about hostile hey, Dad, system. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku? No, huh? it gave our passengers a bit that of a scare. Exciting, let's hear it. Ships, hey, okay. Okay. It's called space. It's our company's <laughs> policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. And dark. Safe travel, stranger. Starships fly there like comets.
If you're searching them, make it quick.
Looks like we're in the clear. I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. I wouldn't say I was afraid. More like approaching the situation with caution. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? I feel exactly the same way, but it certainly sounded like they weren't willing to work with us at all. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. Obviously, but there has to be more to these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence. Eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think of me that way, there's a time and a place for that sort of talk. This is definitely not one of them. 
Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. Yes? Dropping off a few choice items? Talk to you later.
out there. My kill, my share. <laughs> Forget me! See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Let's see what you've got. Maybe another time.
junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. How about you? But I felt I could do a lot worse in consolation. Uh, 
Uh, sure, sweet pea. The old man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Um, I don't know. Who? Everybody! to haul whatever you need. Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. Now that we're here, perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning? Can I help? 
So long. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Console parts, replacement wires that have burned out, some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. 